Hey everyone, welcome back. We are continuing to learn about colors and in this video we're going to talk about using your fine and gross motor skills to learn about colors. So let's go. Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm excited to share my ideas for learning about colors with fine and gross motor skills. So to start off with using fine motor skills, you could use pom-poms or bouncy balls like I used to sort into different colored bowls that match the color of the ball or the pom-pom. I used my hands, but you could also use tongs to add some more fine motor skills into this activity. Okay, another thing to do is to have colors printed out on sheets of paper, the names of the colors, and then give the children markers or crayons to trace inside those letters, or if it is a dot to dot, they can trace on top of those letters using the same color as the name. So they can start to recognize the letters in those colors. You might also want to get some color puzzles. There are a lot of puzzles that have lots of colors on them, and you can put those in your centers or as an activity for your children to do to work on their fine motor skills of putting puzzles together. All right, so for gross motor, you can use those same bouncy balls that you used in fine motor for them to play with, or you can get the big bouncy balls that they can play with in a gym or outside. You also might like to get some paper that are in these four colors and play the color game. If you haven't ever played the color game, this is how you do it. You tape these pieces of paper to the wall in a gym or an open space and spread them out. You play some music, let the kids run around, dance, and then you stop the music and the kids run to one of the colors. You would need a colored paper like this or some colored pom-poms, something like that that you could pull out of a bag and when you pull out the color, the children who are on that color are out and they come and sit down. You also can put a white color or a white ball into your bag and when you pull out the white, everyone who is sitting out goes back in the game until you get down to one person who is still in the game and is the winner. This game is very active and fun, kids love it, and it's color recognition. My last idea is to have rainbow races. So with these, you would get some tape in different colors, put it in straight lines on the ground. You would put the kids on one end, split up into teams, and baskets on the other end. Then you would get balls, this size or maybe a little bigger, and have them race to the other end and place a ball in their basket and race back. Then the next kid would go until one team has all their balls in the basket on the other side and are the winner. This not only teaches colors, but it promotes teamwork as well. So those are my ideas on how to use color in fine and gross motor skills. If you have any other ideas, I'd love to know what they are. Put them in the comments below. Next week's video, I will be showing you art that you can do when talking about color and the kids can take home. If you liked this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching everyone. I will see you later. Bye.